Hey guys, opinions vary about the best way to like warm up for like a tournament money match, especially if it's a new table, and really especially if you haven't shot at all, like you know that day or for several hours. So you're so you're cold and you just want to just get warm up, get warmed up. My my philosophy differs from that of some top players, but not from all of them. And mine has always been just that, warm up. I'm not gonna try to learn how to make a shot. I'm not gonna try to learn how to get better at a shot. I'm just kinda trying to get back to where I should be, where I normally am. So if I'm gonna warm up, I'm gonna set up shots that my normal game, I'm never going to miss. Like what I try to do, never gonna miss in my normal game. But this is not a normal circumstance. Maybe I haven't played in a day. Maybe, maybe it's a completely unfamiliar table. Maybe there's some nerves involved, things like that. But, so that's what I'll do. If I'll set up a shot, I would never miss a 13, and I'm not practicing making a shot like that 13. What I'm doing is just getting in alignment, making sure my arm works. Um, as the as the balls go in, get a little bit, a little bit, you know, confidence getting built, things like that. Reminding myself of where I am as a pool player, and getting to that point, getting to that that normal point. Well, the top player that I've seen uh, in one of his instructional videos, that kind of has the same philosophy as me as Scott Frost. He'll warm up with easy stuff. And some people watching him might be, you know, he used to be one of the best players in the world, especially at the time he made these videos. Why in the hell is he warming up on a shot like this? Well, because I think, because I think he knows what the hell he's doing. It's not about practice at this point. It is about making sure that you are at least at your normal level of play. First, several years ago, I was watching uh, Dennis. And it was probably one of his matches he was going to play against Tony. And he was warming up. I think I've talked about this in a video before. He was warming up. He had like a, a ball spotter. I, I'm not good enough to have a ball spotter, but Dennis did. He had a guy that kept spotting ball on the foot spot. And Dennis is warming up by cutting the, this eight in this example into there with various types of angles. This, well, clearly, he's a much better player than, well, most people on the planet. But that was his warm up. When he missed or if he made it, whatever, his his ball spotter would spot the ball back up there. I don't know. For me, I was like, that's stupid. Because how many times are you going to shoot that shot? But opinion, like I said, opinions vary. Some people may warm up easier or more effectively to their mind with shots like that. Because almost every shot is going to be easier than that. So if he nails this a few times, and I think Dennis probably nailed it 30 or 40 times in a row, fucking Dennis, um, then everything else is going to be, you know, easier for him than that shot. But for me, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to even shoot a tough shot. And then at that point, everything's easier than that tough shot. Not even trying to do that. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing everything right. I'm setting my distance by looking at the cue ball, getting on the shot line. My line is correct. Stroking the ball okay and straight. And putting it in. That's that's my warm up. Is that if I have a little bit more time, then I can I can change that up a little bit. I can, I might start out with a shot like this that I will never miss. If I'm playing well, start out with this. 
And then after a while, after I feel like I'm really starting and I am kind of warmed up, back it up. Then it starts shooting a little bit tougher shots. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to learn how to make this 12 or get better at making this 12. I just feel like my alignment is pretty good because I've been shooting this easy one. Let's make sure my alignment is good. Make sure my alignment is good, my stroke is still straight and all that on these, on these tougher shots. Now I'm gonna, if I'm playing one pocket especially, if I'm playing one pocket and like this is my pocket, and I have the time to warm up, I absolutely want to shoot bags like this at pocket speed. Because I want to see if the table is going to roll off or is my speed wrong, whatever. Is my judgment wrong? I want to shoot it and see what happens. To me, that ball looked like it rolled perfectly straight. I just said my judgment was just off. Yeah, I'm not trying to learn how to make this shot. I'm mainly just making sure Make sure the ball is going to do what I what I just told it to do. In that case, I told it to do the wrong thing. I told it to not go in, but it didn't defy me and do something completely random. No, it went where I shot. I just happened to shoot it at the wrong place. I like to do stuff like this, especially at pocket speed, so I can watch these roll offs and stuff. It didn't quite compensate enough. If I'm playing bank pool, it could be the, it could be the same kind of thing. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds here, but I have talked about shots in bank pool which struck firmly. If they come in steep, like for example, this eight cross corner on this eight, they tend to come in even shorter than you might expect because you're shooting it hard, but it's also coming in steep. So I'll shoot a shot like this at a steep angle and see, you know, did it shorten up more or less or exactly the same as I thought it was going to. Then there are going to be other shots where the ball is going to lengthen out. And those are the ones that are going to come in shallow. So I like this eight down there. Let me put this on. A, this is the, actually the shot I usually tend to practice. Is this cue ball is halfway between these two dots. I have a dot at the intersection of every diamond. And this eight ball is between these two. On, for most tables with my stroke, but yet yeah, at firm speed, this is a pretty much dead shot. But I found a lot here recently because I have changed my physical style, once again, that this shot comes up short quite a bit. But I want to find out. I want to find out what, what's going to happen with this shot. And it, these are after I've already done my regular warm-up. I'm not, I'm not particularly warming up anymore right now. I'm testing the table, seeing how the table is it acting the way I want it to act. That's what I'm doing at this point. I was both times I shot that it came a little bit long, and that's what's been happening to me. And I could compensate eventually. I remember a few years ago, I went to Derby City, and I think it was my first match at Derby City that year. I think it was. And I shot this shot, and I bet I missed, I like here. Brand new, brand new cloth on the table, and everything was sliding like crazy. And what I realized was this shot here cannot be made cross corner because I couldn't shorten it up enough without hitting the side pocket. I could load it up with a bunch of bright English, but that, that's almost always a bad option uh, to be loading stuff up with English. Overcompensate. Um, shoot those, shoot those shots that are kind of natural, they don't lengthen out, shoot the shots that Tip we do lengthen out. The one I just showed you, I think I just said that it will lengthen out. No, this is not one that will typically lengthen out. This is one that is typically 
a pretty natural thing. 45 degree angle is typically, see, long, remember I mentioned that 30 seconds ago? The shots that we're linked to now are going to be shots like the eight cross corner that way. So it's coming into this rail at a shallower angle. As I said, as I've said before, this eight ball will typically slide down this rail on new cloth, like at Derby City, and then release and come off and will tend to go long on new cloth. Will tend to come short on old cloth. And, and so this is just a matter of just finding out where am I at? Where am I at on these on these shots? Pretty consistently lately long. But if I know that, then when the game starts or the match starts, then I, I guess I kind of know that this table for me on this picture today is playing a little long. Or I can just be here shooting it and my inner pool player can adjust for me like it's done for the last three shots. Those are my warm-ups. Those are my warm-ups. I'm not, I'm not warming up by trying to mass A stuff or table length draws and shit like that. I'm not. Because I don't want to have a warm-up that consists of missing 90% of my shots. I want to warm up that consists of making 90% of my shots. Ideally, maybe even all of my shots when I'm warming up. Once I get done warming up, I feel like, I, feel like I'm doing everything kind of right, then I, I test the table like I was just showing on some of the bags, stuff like that. You can go, it doesn't even have to be a bag. Tables roll off even if it's not a bag. You shoot this shot. I just watch it. Watch what happens. They, that ball got stuck in the real group, which is perfectly fine. I don't think it rolled off. I think it got stuck in this real group. But it wouldn't have done me any good at all to shoot this shot first shot of the day. Because I might not be stroking straight. I might not be in alignment correctly or whatever. But once I am pretty sure that I'm stroking straight and I am in alignment, I know I'm going to hit this 10 accurately. Then I can shoot it. And watch what happens. If I was a real glutton for punishment, and I'm not, I could do the same thing diagonal. But there's a danger with this shot for me of just missing it. And like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to end a warm-up session or have a warm-up session, have a bunch of misses. I want to make them. I want to make the shot. This is my, in my normal self. This is at least a 90% make for me from here. From back here, it's maybe more like 75. I come up here, getting 90% make, as long as everything's good. Gonna shoot it. Make sure it doesn't do anything weird. Make sure it doesn't, well, it doesn't roll off or whatever, because that's very annoying when stuff like that happens. The other thing that you can kind of do, and I can't really demonstrate it as well on this table, is if you're playing in a place that has like four and an eighth or four and a quarter inch pockets, these are these are four and a halves. Then you start to have to worry about is the ball going to bobble out, that type of thing. If you shoot it firmly, when is it going to go in and when is it going to bobble? I said I can't really demonstrate it on this guy. Uh, I'm pretty used to this table. I'll, Certainly hope so. Um, but if you could, like, if I went down to Buffalo's on table 18, that's four and an eighth, and I've got some warm up time, you're damn right. I'm going to be shooting some stuff hard. At this angle, it will pop. see what happens if I touch it, if I touch this point on the way in. On that table 18 of Buffalo's, if I hit this point, the ball's not going to go in. It's going to do this. And then it's going to stop and laugh at you. That's what's going to happen. I want to know that. So I try to get things like that, you know, into my subconscious while I'm still doing my, my warm-up, my five minutes of warm-up or whatever. 
I think that's all I wanted to say about this. I owe you guys a video big time, but the shipment that I was hoping to get today, I didn't get it. Uh, right now, the website says Monday. So on Monday, I might have a, I don't know, interesting to me type of a video. Later, guys.